Hey ladies, so I thought I would go live and do a Valentine's makeup tutorial today. So I'm just going to jump in. I think I have everything laid out that I need. Um, first thing I'm going to put on is the Daily Divine Moisturizer. We do have um, two other moisturizers that have SPF in them, which um, I use when I'm going to be out in the sun. But today, I am not going to be out in the sun, so I'm just going to put on the normal moisturizer. And a little bit um, goes a long way. If you've seen any of my videos, I always say that um, a pea-sized amount of the moisturizer will cover my whole face. And then kind of like to let that dry a little bit before I put on my primer. And um, I always use primer. Part of the reason is uh, it is a barrier between your skin and your makeup. So if you sweat during the day or if you have oily skin, this is gonna absorb that and not let it get through to your makeup. And so it's gonna let your makeup last a lot longer throughout the day. Um, I take a ton of medicine for my occipital neuralgia, and it constantly gives me hot flashes. Um, I just have a hard time regulating my temperature, I guess you could say. And so I always use primer just so that my makeup stays on longer throughout the day. So that's all the primer I'm going to be using for my face. You just dab it everywhere, and then you're just going to want to let it set in before you put your foundation on and so I normally um, put my primer on and then I'll do my eyes and then I'll put my foundation on and that gives it enough time uh, this lasts forever I've had this one I want to say this is the new um, packaging so since October so they do last a long time, so don't be sticker shocked when you see the price considering how long they last. So the next thing I'm going to move on to is eye priming, and we have another eye primer. And <laughs> this is funny because um, something had popped up in my timeline the other day about when I had first joined Unique and some of the products I had purchased, and the eye primer was one of them. And it has been over a year and I still have this eye primer and I use this probably four to five times a week depending on if I don't do my makeup I normally don't put it on I just use our skin products and so this little container right here has lasted over a year and once again just a small amount and you put on your eyelids and this is going to help your eyeshadow stay in place so it's Valentine's Day. We're really not going to be doing anything. Um, my husband's a homebody, so um, I will be cooking dinner. <laughs> and he probably will stop at Smith's on the way home and pick up some flowers and a card. Or he'll make a card when he's at work today, like hand-drawn, because that's how he rolls. Um, but anyways, uh, it is what it is, right? So it's Tuesday, we'll be having tacos, but I thought just since it's Valentine's Day, might as well put some makeup on. So um, I'm going to do a few things that are different than normal. Really any makeup can be used anywhere on your face. So I found that we can use our liquid lipsticks as eyeshadow. It works just like our cream eyeshadows. And so... I love that really any makeup you can use on any part of your face, really. I use blush as eyeshadow all the time. And so today I was going to go a little bit between sweet and a little bit between sexy. So I was going to throw in some black on the eyeshadow. The first thing I'm going to do is use our Spontaneous Liquid Lipstick as eyeshadow. So I'm just going to pull it out like this and I'm going to grab my favorite brush which isn't a unique product, please don't tell on me. It's a Morphe G20. Even though I sell unique makeup, you don't have to use unique makeup all the time or their products. So if you're thinking about becoming a presenter, 
just know that you don't have to do that. So this is the Morphe G20, and I love it. It is the perfect size, especially when you're working on the um, lower lid. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Melissa. So I'm just going to take this um, liquid lipstick. It's a nice purple color. And I'm going to, let me get my other mirror in place. I'm going to use this on my lower lid. And so you're just going to, hold on. You're just going to apply it like normal cream eyeshadow. I'm just going to cover the base of my eye with that. And what I love about this color is we don't have an eyeshadow that's this color. So you can go ahead and use it in place of eyeshadow. And just like the rest of our products, it is long lasting. It... Um, stays on forever and so that's going to be the base of my color I know it's really bright but when I get the rest of the colors in there it's really gonna look good so this one is our liquid lipstick spontaneous and I'm just gonna do a light coat it's buildable so if you wanted to go darker you could but I don't necessarily want to so I'm just gonna get a little bit more product off the lipstick wand <laughs> And go ahead and apply to my other eyelid and it looks like I already got some on my cheek I swear I cannot wear white because I just am a mess um, if I have a white shirt on it never fails within 10 minutes I have spilled my coffee or gotten something on it so I avoid white. I love black. Okay, so I just put a light layer on my lower lid. Get that off my face. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to work on the upper brow bone and then I'm going to do my crease. So I want to say one of the brushes I love that Unique has is a crease brush. And before I started um, being a presenter at Unique, I had no idea. I normally just bought whatever was at Walgreens or Target. This crease brush is amazing. It is the perfect width just to get up in that crease to get the color in there. So I thought since I was going to do some pinks, I might as well mix that with black. And I'm going to use our Skeptical um, Cream Shadow for this. And this month, you can get the Splurge Cream Shadow, a color of your choice. You can get a liquid lipstick, and then you get our lip brush, which I don't have in front of me, um, for $53, which is a $25 savings. And so I just wanted to show you, this is our kudos for the month that runs through February 28th, 29th. I don't know how many days we have in February this year. Um, and so this is the lipstick that I put uh, as eyeshadow. And then I'm going to use the Splurge Cream. We do have a Splurge Cream brush that you can use to apply it. But I don't really like to use that brush in my crease because... Let me see if I have it here. It's, it, it's almost like this brush where it's flat and round. And it's really hard for me to work around in my crease. So I'm just going to get a little bit of color on this. And this brush is going to make it so I'm not applying so much product just because of the hair or the bristles, the type of hair on here. It makes it so it doles it out a lot. And I'm just going to apply that to my crease. I started the outside because I like the most color on the outside of my eyeshadow versus the inside. And I'm just going to work my way in. Um, this one is one of our shimmer colors. It's Skeptical. We do have a new um, black matte that just came out. I am waiting to see mine in the mail. And I cannot wait for it. Um, the Splurge Cream Shadows uh, applies a cream. And then they dry to a powder finish. They're long wearing. Uh, we have 12 or 13 shimmer colors 
and then we have six new matte shadows and then we are going to be releasing six more um, cream shadows and I'm not sure which ones are matte and which ones aren't but um, the colors are amazing that are coming out. Um, we launched new products on March 1st and I cannot wait to get my hands on them. We were supposed to get them tomorrow but um, it's been postponed until February 20th and so um, once I get them I'll jump on and show you guys all new products. We are getting four new lipstick colors. We're getting six new um, splurge cream shadows. We're getting three new uh, liquid, the lip stains. And we are getting luminizers. I cannot wait. Um, I cheat on Unique because I do like to have the loomy look. And so um, I'm really happy that they're coming out. And they're coming out with three different ones, like a stick, a liquid one, a powder one. And then they're also coming out with a spray, a setting spray. So I also don't have to cheat on them anymore with my Urban Decay setting spray, which is awesome. So I just apply that to the corner. Um, the outside is a little bit darker than the inside because that's kind of what I'm going for. And then the biggest thing is just blending. Um... I'm blending right where it butts up to the red, or purple, pink, I don't know, it looks pink right there, um, and you just blend it in. And so you can go darker on the edges if you want, or if you wanted um, it to look not so shiny, you can just grab one of our palettes and put one of our uh, matte blacks from our palettes on it. I don't think this one has black in it, but... And then for my brow bone, I'm just going to go pretty neutral. I'm going to grab, um, since it is Valentine's Day, I'll stick with the pinks and blacks. Um, another splurge cream shadow. It's called Hopeful. It's from our Defend Innocence line. And it's just a very pink. I'm not going to apply much. I'm going to grab that Morphe G20 I was telling you guys about. And I'm just going to apply that to my brow bone to give it a highlight. Hey Courtney. Hey Colleen. So I'm going to apply that to my brow bone and don't mind. I do have eyebrows there. They're just blonde. I'm a natural blonde. I am having a phase right now where I'm loving red hair. So um, I have eyebrows there. You just can't see them. So this is hopeful on the top and with our kudos you could pick any of the splurge cream shadows and so this is a choice you could have also and I'm just gonna go back and forth and kind of rub that in so that line is not so drastic I'm actually gonna grab another brush I'm gonna clean I found this thing it's amazing I got it on Amazon it's kind of squishy and it just cleans your brush real quick for spot cleaning when you want to change colors so I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to add a little bit more hopeful to it and then I'm going to rub out back and forth windshield motions. I think that that takes the most time with makeup is the blending because I hate lines. So I'm just going to go back and forth until I'm happy with it not being a distinct line. I'm going to go ahead and clean it one more time before I go to the other side just in case it got any black on it. So I'm going to grab a little bit more of the hopeful and I'm just going to apply that right up on my brow bone all the way up to my eyebrows and then blend it in to the skeptical black color so there's no lines. And that's pretty much it for the eyebrow look. So it's a little bit sweet. It's a little bit sexy with the black. Um, and like I said, it's really simple. I just used our spontaneous liquid lipstick and a couple of splurge cream shadows. Um, this one's spontaneous, and that's what I used on my eye. And then, hey Jen, hey Julia. And then I used Skeptical on my brow, and I used 
I'm sorry, I used skeptical on my crease and I used hopeful on my brow bone. So, um, I put my foundation on now and then I'll go back once my foundation's on and do my eyeliner and my eyebrows and all of that good stuff because I don't want to put it on and then have the foundation um, wipe it off because our foundation's that good that it just gets rid of anything you put on your face. So um, my primer I put on at the beginning of the video and so it should be dry so I'm just going to grab my liquid touch so right now i can wear a few different colors and that's what i love about our liquid touch um i'm using scarlet which is our lightest one because i probably would melt if i went in the sun <laughs> um hey christina and then in the summer i normally i can use organza and then i'll mix a little bit of taffeta in there depending on how um much sun i actually do get so this is our liquid touch brush. I am a five drop girl. So you're just going to want to mix this up before you put it on your brush. Um, and five drops will do it for my face. That's what I love about this product is um, you don't have to use much at all so you don't look like you have a cakey face. So there's the, oh yeah, five drops. And then I just kind of dot it around. It goes on liquid and then it dries to our um, a matte finish. If you wanted to have a more like loomy look in your foundation, you could use. Um, sometimes I use our. Uh, we have a bronzer, a cream bronzer for your, like your body, your legs, and you can add that in, and that will just give you that sun kissed. Uh, look on your foundation. So five drops covers my entire face and it covers up everything. Um, coming off one of my insomnia bends so I have some bags under my eyes and I'll just use a little bit of foundation or I'm sorry concealer to help cover that up. I hate insomnia even with my stupid medicine. I was up for 26 hours and then I finally crashed and it was amazing. <laughs> so I just slept for 13 hours. It was great. Little bit goes a long way. This right here, hey Amy, is too much foundation or concealer. Too much. So I'm just going to do a little and a little and I'm just going to wipe the rest off. Like uh. I had said with my eye primer, I've also had this over a year. And look how much product I still have left. And I use this every day, whether it's to cover up my under eye or sometimes when I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, I'll put some concealer in with my foundation. And um, that works really good too. So I'm just going to use my finger to kind of get that up under my eyelid and then I'm going to come down like this and it will just kind of treat it even though it's the same color as my foundation it does come off a little bit lighter so I'll just use it as a natural highlighter then it cuts out a step see I have too much on that side I love that a little bit goes a long way but I also some days it's like oh I thought I only used a little bit and then you start wiping and it's more than you wanted. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. And let's move on to brows. My, ugh, I hate brows. Um, I wish it was, I just never noticed them. I never did my brows until I joined Unique. It's all blonde over here. I probably should just grab some box dye to match my hair color now so when i was at convention last year we took a makeup class and um the lady that taught it i can't remember her name but she was hilarious and um she showed an easier way to do your eyebrows so uh what she did was she brushes all of them down which seems counterproductive but it's really not 
So when you brush them down, you can kind of see like where your natural brow line is with the hair out of the way. And that's the line that I follow. And then I, um, I have to color. Sorry about that. I have to color them in just because, like I said, I have blonde hair, but for a reason I decide to dark, but I actually love it. So I'm just going to do little strokes and I'm just going to follow the line where you can already see your eyebrows are. And then just curve it over. And then over here is kind of a question mark because they're blonde and then they don't go out as far as I want them to. So every day the end changes. And so once that's good, I'll just color in a little bit and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to brush my eyebrows up now so you can see the bottom line. And then that also mixes in the color you've already put on there. And okay, sorry, it's hard to see in the phone to do it. So I'm going to look over at the mirror. Um, and this is our Moonstruck Precision Brow Liner. It comes with the spoolie on one end, and then it's really tiny on this end, which I love because then you can create those small brush-like strokes. And it comes in three different colors. And you can also get it in a set with our um, which I'll show you in just a minute. Okay, so one eyebrow is done. You can... I never know why I didn't do my eyebrows my entire life, but um, there's one. It's close to my hair color, so it doesn't look funny. I'm just going to move over to the other one, brush it down. This is my favorite eyebrow for whatever reason. It just cooperates better, looks better. I feel like it arches better, but that's okay. Eyebrows are supposed to be... What is that saying? Sisters, not twins. So I'll just kind of try to make sure that I make this as far out as that. And then I'm just going to brush it up and kind of create the definition on the bottom. Which, these ones are just really blonde on this bottom. I need hair dye for my eyebrows. Okay. So I'm going to follow that line up and out. And I'm going to color it in a little bit so it's more the same color as my eyebrows. And brush it out. Okay, so I'm trying to decide. Um, probably still use black eyeliner. I was thinking about using pink to keep with the softer, sexy look, but... Um, this is perfect. Um, these are water resistant and smudge proof. So once you get it on and get it dry, you are good for the day. They work really good. They have good pigment, which I love. This is a black black. Um, you're not going to get it put on and it's going to look gray. So I'm just going to do um, my lash line and then just halfway on the bottom. Is anyone up to anything fun today? Plans with your sweetheart? We have kids and just really haven't found a babysitter yet. But that's fine. Like I said, we're kind of homebodies anyways. So, okay, that's my lower lash line. I'm not going to do my upper um, lash line in with um, eyeliner today. I think that's going to take away from the pink, purple-ish color. Um, and I don't want to do that. So, next, we're going to do bronzer, which... We have three different bronzers, the beachfront bronzers I use. Um, this is actually the wrong color. Um, this one's Malibu, which is our medium shade. 
This is Hermosa, which is our darkest shade. And then, because it's winter, I use the Sunset, which is the lightest one. Because I don't um, want to look too, have too much of a contrast. So, um, another secret you guys can't tell. So, this is another Morphe brush. I'm sorry, I love my Morphe brushes. It's an E4, and it's angled. Um, and I just find this works really well for um, blush and for my bronzer. Um, Unique is coming out with some new brushes, which I'm really excited about. So once I get them, I'll jump on and do a video. But for me, for the bronzer, I just like to do the three motion. Um, and then I add a little bit inside. But So I just do it lightly. And this is kind of bronzing, and it's a little bit of contouring all at the same time. And I'll do a little bit under here, so it kind of gives you that three motion. Depending on my mood and occasion, like, you can go lighter, you can go darker, you can use this as a contour. We have a contour um, I love to use, but I normally just use this when... Um, I, well, I don't want to say when I'm going out, but um, it just really depends. Today I'm just keeping it light, and so I'm just doing the three motion. I'll get my uh, forehead. I'm going to get a little bit on my cheeks to create um, so it makes look... I can't talk, so it looks like I have actually cheekbones. And then um, I like to do a line down here because then it kind of gives you that cut off of where your face ends and your neck begins. Look, I have such a little tiny neck. I hate it. <laughs> if it was maybe like an inch bigger, like, I don't know. Anyone else have a tiny neck? They don't like it. So anyways, this gives definition between where my neck and face ends. Okay, so the last thing I do is I just do, I feel like it makes my nose look skinnier, is if you put shadows on the sides of your nose, it looks smaller. And then I do the tip right there. And it's just a really nice, like, subtle adds definition so it doesn't just look like a pell monster with makeup on and then I'm gonna use our seductive blusher this is another product I've had for a year there's not even a dent in it and I'm just gonna use the Morphe E4 I we have a blush brush I have a very hard time using it um, because our products just a little bit goes a long way and for whatever reason I just cannot seem to get less product on that brush it just likes to grab it so I like to use that for powder so I just use this one and I just apples and kind of pull it back I'll go through with um, a powder puff brush in a minute to kind of smooth it smooth it out see too much product okay not that that's a bad thing um the colors are just very pigmented, so you just have to a little bit long way. So, blush. I'll clean that up in a minute. Hey, Glenna. How are you? Okay, so we have blush. I still need to do mascara and lipstick and a highlighter. So, um, we have highlighters, luminizers coming out next month. Um, so right now, what I use is our loose pigments. Today I'm going to use Giddy, which is like a light orange as a highlighter. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, um, and it uh, is the color I'm going for. Um, sometimes I'll use Curious or Sexy, which are also pigments. Um, some of that in with these but this one is peachy and it gives just enough shine 
to not be too um, obnoxious. I don't. I don't know if you. Is there such thing as too much of a highlighter? Um, so I'm gonna put that on. Actually, I think I might add a little bit. Okay, of sexy in to get a little bit more of the white to it. I don't know. Um, I highlight on my cheeks. I'll clean that up in a minute. Don't think that that's going to stay like that. Um, and then for whatever reason, even though I don't like my nose, I highlight it a little bit because I want them to focus here, not here. And then my chin. And of course, your cupid's bow to make your lips look bigger. And then you can also kind of, if you wanted, you know, you guys know how to highlight. Anywhere the sun naturally touches, you know, so a little bit above here. <sighs> okay, so I want to clean this up a little bit um, and make sure the blush is mixed in in my bronzer. So I'm just taking this blusher, blusher brush. Um, I do have a big powder puff brush that I normally use, but I just remembered it's in my bathroom. And I don't want to walk that far. So. So it's coming along. Okay, so mascara and lips. So I'm going to use the same lipstick I used on my eye for my lips. And I'm just going to grab a lip liner that is close. Do I want to go lighter or do I want to go darker? I think I'm going to use pink. So I'm going to use actually a pink lip liner. Um, oh, I forgot a step. I'm so sad. So normally when I'm putting on my makeup, we have this lip sugar scrub. Actually, I'm going to put this on now and then I'll put the lipstick on. Um, afterwards, we'll do my eyeshadow next. So after I put my lotion on, I normally put this on and um, let it like clean my lips and moisturize them before I put my lipstick on. Completely forgot that step though. So let's just move on to our 3D mascara. So we recently reformulated it and I know, I don't know if anyone on here has it. Courtney does. Um, but I, I'm in love with this new formula. The brush is amazing. So they, um, changed the formula in the gel and in the fibers. Um, and then they changed the brush as well. And so it is now just the straight line before it was skinnier at the top and fatter at the back. I personally just have a hard time with that type of brush. I just make a mess with it. So I would change out the brush, but I'm glad that they finally changed it to a brush I like because, I mean, I'm important. So uh, those of you that haven't seen our gel, it's a three-step process. You put gel, you put fibers, you put gel. Um, the new formula is supposed to increase the 500% versus the 400 for the last one. So if you look, uh, my eyelashes are blonde and my bottom ones are longer than my top ones most of the time. It seems that way. And this just changes everything. If you like to curl your eyelashes, you would do it now before you put the mascara on. Or you can use the blow dry trick afterwards. And I don't have my blow dryer out here. All you do is you apply your mascara and then you just take your blow dryer you use on your hair and point it upwards so that your eyelashes get heated and go up and it works so good. Hey Kelly. Hey Mia. Hi Jennifer. Okay, so the trick to this uh, mascara is you're going to want to get a really good base coat and finishing coat. Those are the keys. So I'm going to put a couple 
of coats of the gel down. I'm going to kind of, while I'm doing that, part my eyelashes out so they're not stuck together. And go from the root to the tips. And then I put a little bit on the back. And I'll show you why next with the fibers. So I'm happy with that. Like you can see how much of it's already that is made. But that's not where the magic happens. The magic happens with the fibers. So you take the fibers and they're all like spider webs. Um, in order to kind of save them so they don't fall on your face, I like to roll them. And then you're going to apply. I like to apply some to the back because it adds length to my eyelashes when I do that. I'm going to grab just a little bit more. And you can also do two coats, so you can put your finishing coat on and then do another coat of fibers if you want. Okay, so it's going to look weird. It looks like spider webs. And that's fine. That's supposed to look like that. I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to move to my next eye. So look at the difference already. I have eyelashes and I have no eyelashes. So um, this product has been life changing for me. Normally I would throw on fake lashes and they're just uncomfortable and expensive after a while. Um, so this has been a game changer. So I'm just going to do the same thing to this eye. Sorry if I'm looking over here. It's I need a mirror. Not my phone to apply. So I'm just going to repeat on this side. I'm going to get a really good base coat of the gel down. And while I'm doing that, I'm kind of splitting out my lashes. Making sure none are clumped together. I'm going to get a little bit more gel. And just make sure it's good. If you do get um, like a couple of your eyelashes stuck together or whatnot, you could go ahead before you put the fibers on, grab our eyelash comb, which works wonders. I'll show it to you in a minute. And use that to split it out and then get the fibers put on. So I'm just gonna apply them. The instructions say you're supposed to do like halfway from the halfway point up to the end. I don't know. I do all of mine, I think, in instructions as a reference point versus um, actually having to do it. Like I said, there are no rules with it. do it how you want do what makes you feel pretty do what for your, your face structure and then I just need a little bit on the back so that's step two and step three is super important you're gonna apply the gel as the final coat and that's gonna seal in the fibers so that they don't flake on your face all day if you get this mascara and you get flaking, you haven't put on enough of a finishing coat, and that's why they're flaking. So this mascara is also water resistant and smudge proof, so um, you don't have to worry about getting raccoon eyes. You don't have to worry about making a ginormous mess when you cry. Um, as long as you don't rub it when it's wet, <laughs> you're, you're good. If you're crying, <laughs> don't rub, Deb. But for the most part, um, they are not going to budge and run down your face and give you raccoon eyes. Okay. You know what I love about the pinks um, and purple colors is I have hazel eyes, but most of the time they look brown. But these pinks and purples just make my eyes look green. 
from far away they just look muddy but I'm gonna do one more coat real quick just to make sure and then I put fibers on the back of my eyelash so I want to make sure to get some gel back there so that they don't flake okay look at that that finishing coat just makes the difference not only is it securing it but it's just making them look that much better and then I'm just gonna work on this side this normally doesn't take that long since I'm talking um, it takes a little bit longer but normally in the morning 30 minutes is tops for my makeup routine unless it's a special occasion or I'm trying something new I am wham bam and out the door okay so I need a little bit more gel on this side and it's gonna be done and then I will go to my lips the our lip scrub not a, it's like a sugar scrub but it also has moisturizers and conditioning agents in it which uh, helps the sugar scrubs off all the imperfections and the moisture the size give me a headache okay um conditioning and moisture agents to help your lips out so I'm going to use, like I said earlier, the same lipstick I put on my eyes. And I'm going to use a, like a lighter color um, lip liner. I'm going to grab um, a tissue real quick to wipe this off. So I'll be right back. Oh gosh. So, you guys are so quiet. Any uh, fun plan? Ooh, for tonight? Are you guys gonna go with sweet or sexy makeup? Or are you guys um, non makeup wearers? Um, if you have any questions on our just face care line, it's amazing. A lot of clients that don't wear makeup that love our. Uh, Skincare line. Okay, so I'm using Punchy as my lip liner. And then I'm going to use the same color, Spontaneous. For my lipstick okay um, I also I love this brush for everything um, so I don't apply it straight off the wand to my lips I it just it gets a lot of product on it we're a young company we have amazing products um, and um, Sometimes we just need little fixes. This gets so much product on it. If I was to just wipe it without doing this, it would just put too much product on there and then it's not going to dry. And if it doesn't dry, then it's not going to be long lasting. So I'm just using that same Morphe G20. Going to get a little bit of product on it. And I'm just going to brush it on, but I'm going to stop talking while I do that. And like everything else with our makeup, these colors are buildable. I would just let it dry a little bit between each coat. I always think of nail polish when applying makeup. If you put um, a second layer on your base coat of nail polish before it's dry, 
it always screws everything up and so I always use that concept when it comes to makeup that the base layer needs to be dry before you add the next coat. Okay, really weird. I hate when I smile and you can see my lip. So I'm gonna be mouth breathing for a minute while I do out so I can get the product on it. <coughs> Sorry. I wish I could talk. Make all sorts of funny faces. Okay. Um, another brush. We have a lip brush you can use this for too. I, um, and that comes in our kudos this month. I put that in my small, uh, I use that. I put that brush in my small little makeup bag I keep in my purse. Um, I like to use these when I'm at home because they're bigger. They cover more area. And so then you can apply it faster. So I'm just going to even out the lines a little bit. Okay, and voila, Valentine's Day makeup. Um, I'm going to add just a little bit more up here. I think I, it looks like I put the black too low, so it's overpowering the I don't know what color I'm calling this. <laughs> Pinkish purple. <laughs> I love these colors though. Um, one, um, purples, reds, and pinks um, eyeshadows. I absolutely adore. Uh, one of the new splurge cream shadows that is being released is looks red in the pictures. I think they're describing it as like a burnt orange, but it looks so red. I can't wait to get my hands on that. So that is pretty much it. I might curl my hair today. I might not. Um, I can't wait till we get our finishing spray that just helps keep the makeup on a little bit longer. Um, the one other thing I forgot, which I've made a mess, so I can't find it now. Oh, here it is, is, um, our eyebrow gel. I like to apply just a little bit. Um, it has the same fibers that our mascara has. And so it helps create a little bit more of like a fullness to your eyebrows if you like that look and it also just helps keep them in place all day long so they're not moving around um, I call it eyebrow hairspray so I I go this way so it's on the back of my eyebrows and then I brush it out so there is my Valentine's sweet or sexy or somewhere in between um, look. Uh, I don't need powder today. I don't really feel like I'm excessively shiny except for where I put highlighter on. Um, I like the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Um, Unique is releasing their own setting spray. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Um, I hate cheating on them. I just, I feel so bad, <laughs> you know? So, um, I'm glad that they're coming out with that product. Um, I just put a couple of sprays over. It just helps set your makeup in place. Um, this one also has a hydrating aspect to it. It's always good to nurture your skin. And that is my 
sweet or sexy or somewhere in between Valentine's Day look. If you guys have any questions, comment before, below. Um, if you want to know specific names of products, just let me know. Um, and then you can also visit my website, uh, www.buwithunique.com. And then unique is um, spelled differently with a Y instead of a U. So um, just let me know. And thanks for watching. I really appreciate um I really appreciate you guys watching and to all my customers out there that's going to see this later today. Thank you for your continued support. I wouldn't be anywhere without you guys and um, I'm just glad that I can help in some little way. So, happy Valentine's Day. Whether it's good or bad, I hope you guys still have a good day. So, hopefully um, your men or women get you something good. I have been horrible. This has just been a horrible <laughs> year. I need to go and find my husband something for Valentine's Day. I just don't know what yet. So We shall go head out and get the kids from school in a little bit and then go find him something for Valentine's Day. So thank you guys. I'll talk to you soon. And like I said, if you have any questions, um, just comment below and I'll get back to you. Uh, bye.